Hey, what is going on guys? So I'm going to show you how to fix your ASRock Polychrome Sync thing. So you can see I have it working here with the Razer Chroma. So real quickly, I'm just going to close that and show you how to get the error. And I'll show you how to fix that. If it wants to load for me, there we go. Right, so we'll close that so it's no longer working. I'll go ahead and pull up Razer Synapse and then um, show you that it's not connected. Well, it actually still is. That's cool. Um, Let's see, let me pull up task manager over here and actually close it. Alright, so now that's closed and the lights aren't syncing right now. So real quickly, I'm going to show you how you get that error. So it's going to be from other programs such as things like IQ accessing something. So for me specifically, I have the Vengeance RGB program, so whenever I have IQ open, it's trying to control that, and so is Polychrome, so it messes up with that. So as you can see, I'll try to pull it up again, and it'll give you the access violation error. Well, that or it just won't open up, so it, normally it should just pop up for me right there, but it didn't want to do that for me. it's not responding then it just crashes there we go so that's because it's trying to read the ram also it doesn't go for the cpu cooler but it does go for the ram so then it'll open up some random box like that it just keeps giving you the access violation error so i'll go ahead and close that and close out of iq so then once you close both of those you can go back into your polychrome and it should open up for you because it's not attempting to combat with Corsair yep just like that and then we can turn that on and then it's seeking up with our razor synapse so I'm not sure what all different manufacturer programs don't work with ASRock but I can say for sure that Corsair doesn't work if you're using RGB RAM from them. But I have that working. So then another thing that you can do if that didn't work out for you is you can go to this directory right here. It's just in your C drive, program files 86, ASRock utility, ASR RGB. And then in the bin folder, there's this file right here that says write FW. So I'll go ahead and close out of polychrome make sure it's closed out yep all right and then i'll just run this right fw so you've probably seen all in the forums because i know you found this video so you've probably been searching for a while it's basically just running the command that you've probably seen a few times saying the wisp flash so it's basically just flashing the firmware and then it automatically chooses the right firmware for this one so it's nu51 underscore 209. So once that's done, you can either restart your computer or just test to see if it works already. So I'll just make sure that this works again for me. Alright, there we go. So turn Chroma Connect back on if it wants to. There we go. Alright, and I got that seeking back up with my, uh, with uh, all my Razer products. So then another cool, th or another weird thing that this does, it's not very cool, the colors are like inverted, kind of, so red and green are switched. So right now this is showing, let's say that's showing green right now, which it is supposed to be. Instead of showing green like that, it's going to show red which is my intended goal. So like over here I have red, yellow, red. So I just move that 255 to the green section and then right here, those are both fine. And then in here I got that switched over with both of those being 255. It's just a weird little bug that you 
probably need to watch out for if you're going to be using Razer Signouts with Polychrome. But yeah, that's just that's about it. I took way too long to try to figure that out. I spent a few months not really looking at it fully, but then I spent a few hours last night and I finally figured out the issue. So yeah, thanks for watching. You have a good one.